clearly heard. Turns out I'm married. Rick told me. Yeah, that guy. That guy. My sentiments exactly. <laughs> so, how is it? Getting reacquainted with your wife. Well, I can tell you that her name is Hayden. <laughs> and she's very pretty. She's very nice. She's trying very hard. And she's still very much a stranger. I'm assuming she had some kind of proof. Oh, yeah, she had proof. Down to my social security card, our wedding pictures. My name's Jacob Barnes, by the way. Hi. Formerly of Beecher's Corners. Wow. Well, this is what you wanted, right? To know who you are. You know, actually, what I wanted was to remember who I am. Though, turns out this is something entirely different. Hmm. It's not your wedding ring. This is my wedding ring. <sighs> I even slipped it on my finger, and wouldn't you know it? Fits perfectly. That's what you meant when you said there was only one ring. You know, I really don't know what I meant by one ring. I was going in for brain surgery. My mind was all over the place. Apparently, I even said I remembered who I was before I went under, so... I guess it really doesn't matter if, if you were talking about your ring or mine. Your ring? Well, I mean, my, my theory was at first that you were talking about your ring, and then it occurred to me that... When you when you broke into my apartment, or maybe more into my bedroom. Right, but which is something I'll never be able to apologize enough for. I'm no, sorry. look, I get I, it. Helena was controlling you. You did not kill us, so thank you very much. Very Moving kind on. Of you. Okay, I appreciate that. Anyway, I was thinking when you were in my in my room that you might have seen my ring. I kept it in um, this little canister thing on the bedside table. Huh? Yeah, I don't really remember anything about that night. A bunch of like little. Flashing images and, uh... And, and, and thinking about it is probably giving you a head. <laughs> no, well, as bad as the ones before, I can handle this, but I, I really don't know anything about a canister. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's just that when Jason and I separated, I, I kept our rings in there. And then when we reconciled, we put the rings back on, and when Jason disappeared, he was wearing his ring. Jason survived that night but I didn't know it. And when he died, his remains were never found. So wherever Jason is, that ring is with him. I am sorry you never found your husband's wedding ring. Oh, it's, it's, it's okay. I just, I, I really wanted to be able to give it to Danny. It was a family heirloom. What was it really? Yeah. Um, Jason's father, Dr. Alan Quartermain, it, it belonged to him, and his mother, Monica, had given it to me when we got engaged so I can give it to Jason. Wow. Must be great to be a part of a tradition like that. Oh, I can't tell you. It was, it was probably the happiest moment of my life. And I, I know that Jason would have wanted Danny to have that ring someday. Listen to me, I'm rambling on, and you're trying to get to your first full day's work. I don't mind the company. Yeah, I know. I just, I don't want my father coming down on you for slacking off. Well, I think your dad is pretty happy with the work I've done so far. Yeah? Yeah. How many cars have you fixed? <clears throat> None. Not yet. No, I'm still in the cleanup phase. But I, I, I must have some sort of background in working as a mechanic. What, did your wife tell you that? No, actually... She said I mostly worked in construction, but uh, I just somehow knew how to rewire a faulty electrical outlet for Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. and I, I feel like it's the same thing with engines. I feel like I can just know how to work on them, you know? Yeah. Well, I'd trust you with my car any day. Well, that was very nice of you. You don't want to wait around here while I look at it. Why don't I give you a ride home? Come on. I'm, um, I'm actually... I'm not going home. No, that's cool. Where are you going? Patrick's. 